Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here it's so lovely to meet you. I'm Caitlin, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're a returning subscriber then thank you so much. It is much appreciated. So in today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Glossy Box Egg. Now if you don't know what Glossy Box is, it's a monthly subscription box that includes beauty, nails, skincare, makeup, hair care and also sort of accessories, baubles, you know the drill. So basically Glossy Box brung out a limited edition box, <laughs> an egg, for Easter. They done this last year but I didn't have a subscription and stuff like that so I took out my subscription not long after um, but yeah. I didn't get it last year but I got it this year. Basically I paid £25 for this bad boy and it is worth, I can't remember how much, I will pop the total on the screen how much it's worth, um, but I paid £25. Basically what happens is they go on sale at 9am for subscribers and about 12pm for non-subscribers. But I don't know a glossy box limited edition that is actually made the normal sale so if you see that glossy box are bringing out a limited edition box or an egg and you want it then i would highly 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 recommend you even take a month subscription out just so you can get that because there is no guarantee that it will go on sale for the general public and you'll be gutted i know how it feels so yeah um, I have my normal box coming tomorrow so I'm not sure when that video will go up but I'll go up at some point soon. Um, but yeah I think I'm just going to get into unboxing this egg. Basically Glossy Box were giving away, I can't remember how much, I'm really good at this aren't I? Um, I can't remember how much many there are but it's a golden egg and if you get a golden egg you win a prize. I've got a pink one which is my preferred if I don't get a golden so yeah quite happy about that. Oh so I just took the lid off as you can see it's got the little bow that's got the glossy box logo and it just says glossy box on it as well and this egg is completely jam packed full with products so I think we're just going to sort of pull out take out and see what it is. So the first thing I pulled out is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Polish. Help exfoliate, brighten and purify safer sensitive skin which sounds amazing. So let's see if it focuses here so I can show you. So this is a 28.3 gram which totally baffles me I don't know I don't understand it but anyway um, it says dampen the face and dispense a small portion of polish onto the fingertips delicately massage into all zones of the face rinse with warm water use daily I am so excited to try this product I think it's a nice little I would say like sample size um, I'm not sure it doesn't come with like a card or anything so I couldn't tell you if this is a full size I wouldn't imagine it to be but <laughs> You know with some brands tiny little sizes are their full sizes but anyway um this is a good little size especially for traveling and stuff but i can't wait to try this out because i'm forever looking for skincare that will help clean my skin and help clean it and um just brighten like i've got combination skin but oils break me out so I can't put like any sort of oils on my face or I'll just end up in spots so I'm forever looking for new skincare and I am so excited to try this. So the next thing I have pulled out which I've never heard of this brand before is Q&A Ginger Root Daily Moisturiser. So this just says it's a natural antioxidant which helps to calm skin. How and when to use it apply evenly to skin clear skin use morning and night or as required this looks quite good let's give it a little smell oh it's got a metal a metal um thing on it there and i'm trying to smell it classic me this it looks so good this is it here i've never heard of that brand before or seen it in anywhere before i don't know if that's focusing 
Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited to try this. As I said, I'm forever looking for new sort of skincare products and moisturisers and stuff because um, I'm just, just am. I've never really like found something that is like I can't live without as such. So yeah, um, I'm forever looking for ones and I can't wait to try this. Oh, so the next thing I've pulled out is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara. So this is the packaging here. And if I just take it out, it says Dream Lashes Real Volume and Lift. So this is the mascara here. It's quite like, I like the packaging. It's quite like Too Faced. Like, I'm not saying they're copying Too Faced, they're just the sleek packaging, which I quite like. Which loads of other brands have so they're not copying anyone ignore the tan on my hand and the lack of my nails we're in lockdown can you tell those that wand looks amazing that looks like it grab every single lash and fully coat it and it looks amazing it is just in the shade just black it's an ultimate black actually which I'm forever looking for black mascaras, like black black mascaras, and just the ones that are like mm, going to be black. So yeah, um, <laughs> yes, it looks so good, and I can't wait to try it. I'm forever running out of mascara, um, but it doesn't seem to be a product that I seem to buy. So I love getting them in the glossy boxes and stuff. So I'm fully stocked and bare minerals as well. It should be quite good. So next up we have a wee tiny Glam Go Insta Mud second, 60 second pore refining treatment. This sounds so good because I am clogged pore galore on my face. This is a tiny tiny little sample but it looks so cute and so good and I can't wait to try it. Um, I'm always wanted to try Glam Go. If it wants to focus it can. No, I don't think so. So excited to try it. If you follow me on Instagram, which will be on screen and in the description, you will probably get to see me try this because I'm forever posted on Instagram right now. It's kind of my go-to. It's like, I look at that more than anything. So yeah, I'm so excited to try this. So next up we have a Barry M Candy Culture Nail Paint in the shade raspberry sherbet this is such a lovely color especially for the time of year it is um and also quite need it because once these bad boys come off i'm gonna need something that's called my horrible nails with so it says it's scented but it smells like straight up nail varnish unless i don't know could it smell of something once you put it on your nails i don't know you can give it a try but that looks amazing and the colour is so so pretty. So next up we have a Saint Tropez tan and mint. Now I love Saint Tropez tan, a bit pricey but love the tan um, and as a tan lover I am going to get good use out of this mitt. Um, it looks like a sort of like a velvety one, a fluffy one um, which I love a velvet mitt. I, I can't do it with one of these little spongy ones. No. I need a velvet one. I just feel like spongy ones soak up far too much of your tan. I think I, I remember once um, I done my tan with one of those spongy ones and when I went in the shower the next green day all the tan just came off. I don't know if I, I put it down to the mitt because I had never had any problem with that tan before or like I had done my normal sort of tan like pre-tan routine um, so I kind of put it down in the mat, but I'm not sure if it's like pressed in enough or whatever. But I love a velvet mat, and you can't go wrong with receiving one. Plus it's Saint Tropez, so it should be really good. Oh, I've never had these before. I've always wanted them. These are Patchology Downtime Camantine Infused Aromatherapy Gel Eye Gels. Um, these look so good. I've always wanted. Um, to try sort of like those eye gel things like everyone uses them and they look so good um, this just says place one pair of gels on the clean dry under eye area for 10 minutes this is 
It's amazing. I've always wanted to try one of these. Again, follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see how it is. Oh, to go with our tannin that we got, we have, although this is a spray, but I'll still get this used. Um, this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Natural Glowing Skin Bronzing Water Face Mist. So this sort of reminds me of a few things. I am in love with the Utan Jamie Genevieve spray and where it says purity it reminds me of the rose and caramel purity one which is the clear tan so good um but yeah it'd be quite good to try this it obviously is purity because it's clear and it won't like you won't spray it and it'll have sort of like a guide color like you would with a mousse um but yeah i'm so excited to try this and i hope it works. I love, as I said, I love Saint Tropez. Um, and yeah. Okay, so the next thing we have is 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 is, is it Mimo Candy Edible Lip Scrub. Look at the size of the box. It says treat your lips to a perfect luxurious pout with the is it Mimo? I've said it twice, like differently. Candy lip scrub. Candy lip scrub is 100% edible that gently removes dead skin to reveal glossy, kissable, baby soft lips. Yum. That sounds so good. <gasps> it's even pink. Oh my goodness. It's pink. I love anything pink. It's got a little sort of cap here. Oh, it's sticky. That's it here. That smells like straight up watermelon. Mm. Oh my goodness. I need to put that away before I get a spoon. That is so good. It smells so good and tastes so good. Oh, just dropped it. That is so good and I've never seen a lip scrub in such a big pot I'm normally like used to seeing see the little ones probably like lush I've never seen one in such a big pot that will definitely be getting used that tastes amazing and smells amazing will it perform amazing? don't know, don't care it just tastes and smells amazing so the last thing we have in our egg is a Illamasqua product wow this is an Illamasqua, chucking it up myself, lipstick. So this is in the shade Meteor. Oh, this looks like such a pretty colour. I'm actually chucking it. Oh, how, look how bougie this is. I've never had an Illamasqua product before. Oh my goodness. This is such a pretty colour. Let's give it a little swatch. Oh my goodness. I've done it so awkwardly. Look how pretty that colour is. Again, awkward. Me. I don't know how to show you. I've done it awkwardly. You can see the colour. You get the just. It's such a pretty colour. I'm so excited to use that. I am so happy with everything we got in this egg. I'm so glad I paid £25 pounds for it. In fact, we've got an Illamasqua product. We've got Saint Tropez, we've got Glam Glow, we've got Bare Minerals, we've got all these amazing brands. Even some I've never heard of, but I'm so excited to try them. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth £25. Pounds. So, if you are desperate for like a limited edition box, or egg in this case, um, I would definitely take out the... Uh, even a month subscription it's £10 a month and £3.25 delivery but if you look around on YouTube there's loads and loads of other YouTubers that Glossy Box work with um, I'm not lucky enough hopefully soon but I'm not lucky enough I'd love to but yeah um, I'll list a few down in the description box down below which they'll have their own codes and stuff so you can get um, the boxes, I think it's like seven pounds or something. You can get a good couple of pounds off the boxes. Um, 
so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to smash a like thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload and don't forget that i do have a giveaway going on all the information will be in the description box down below and yeah basically the winner will be announced when i hit 500 subscribers there'll be a video linked down there also that explains everything all the questions and queries and everything that people have been asking and the questions i had to face in sort of my last giveaway it is international all the things like that will be answered in that video um and all the information on how to win <laughs> that was a big mouth though and i'm knackered after saying it but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time bye